Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can import textures from Make Human into Mixamo with an animation and import it back into Blender again. And this is to address the question that was asked a while back when I did this tutorial about uh, animating a Blender or Make Human character without a rig. Uh, people were asking, well, how can you import uh, textures into Mixamo without having to reapply them? Once they're imported back into Blender, that's what uh, Vane 3 d actually said. Great tutorial on Make Human. Thank you so much. An idea on how to re-import to Make Human, or in any, or in my case, Blender. I tried FBX, and the skin vertices are all messed up. Mixmo is a great tool, though. Loving it, and thanks for your time. Hunter Seven said, "Hey Tola, great video, but how do you put the textures back on the model?" Once you have it rigged so I can put it into a game now, I'm answering these questions kind of late three years and two years later, but better late than never. So we're going to go to Make Human. I've already opened it up. You can download it. I'll leave a link so you can download it yourself and try it out. This version of Make Human is old. Now, Make Human does have tools that you can use uh, to import textures, but I don't know how it would work importing textures into in Blender. And then into Mixmod, I don't know if it works like that. Uh, it might not work, but if it doesn't work, this is another way to do it. So we're going to start from the beginning, make a character from scratch, make human. And I've opened up Mixed Human, and this is an old version of it, but still old, new, it's still the same process. You can do this for 2.79, 2.8, 3.0, all versions of Blender that I know of. So we're going to turn our female character, we're going to turn her female, or create a female character actually. And some of the tools will make human kind of different <clears throat> the way they're laid out, but it's fine. And then we're going to go to geometries. We're going to put a dress on her. Let's uh, put this dress on her. Make take a little time to load up. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to let me see. Go to eyes, and her eyes are fine. Go to hair. Put some hair on her. Let's see what hair we're going to use. Um, let me scroll down. Let's just pick this one, the bob. That's maybe not that's kind of much. Scroll down a little bit more. Let's see what else Make Human has to offer. Not all that much. Uh, but let's left click on that hair. So a short bob. Go to teeth, teeth base. Topologies are fine. Eyebrows, click the first one. Eyelashes, click the last one. No need for a tongue. I want to put some material on her skin because right now she has no material on her skin. So go to materials. And let's click on, let me see, young age female. And there she is. Let's go to files and then export. Now you're going to have to you're going to ha want to export this as an FBX file. I've tried it in OBJ and it doesn't work. So FBX is the next best thing. So I'm going to click on FBX. I'm going to click on these this uh, square with three dots in it. Left click in there. <clears throat> now it's good to create a file for your exports because you want to be able to save the OBJ or the FBX file and the texture file in the same folder. So I'm going to right click and then go to new, <coughs> excuse me, click on folder. And we're going to name, I'm going to name this make human. Oh, I'm typing this right. Export your EX, enter. Double click in here. I'm going to name her Deborah, D E B. C O R A H. I'm going to left click in here, right click to copy uh, the information in this space in this uh, area here, so I can copy and paste it into uh, a new area. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. Click on save, and now it's saved. So I'm going to click on X to close out to make human. <coughs> Excuse me again. Yes, I want to close out Make Human. And I'm going to open up the folder where I saved that. And the reason why I did the copy and paste so I, could, so I don't have to kind of search for it. Uh, right click, 
paste, enter. And here's our FBX file with the textures. Now this next step is pretty important. You want to put all this in a zip folder. So left click with the mouse and drag across. Or you can hold down shift, click, shift, left click, left click, left click. But the easiest way to do it is left click and drag. And right click. I don't know how this is done on a uh, Apple computer. I'm using a Windows computer, but this is how it's done on a Windows computer. You want to export this into uh, a zip folder. So I'm going to scroll down and send to compress zip folder. And there it is. I'm going to rename this Deborah. D E B O R A H. Enter. And the next step is go to Mixamo. Just type in Mixamo.com. For some reason, there's a hashtag in the web address, which I don't know why that is. But if you type Mixamo.com, usually nothing comes up. So just type in Mix Mixamo in the search bar of your computer. From the results that come up, click on Mixamo, and the website comes up. If you don't have an account, just create one. It's pretty straightforward. It's your name and address, or your name or email address and a password, and you're good to go. Now, I've already had this character done, but we're making a new character. So I'm going to go to this option that says Upload Character. Click on that. And I'm going to click on my folder uh, that I just created for uh, Deborah. And I'm going to left click and drag on Deborah, the zip folder, and pull it into Mixamo. It might take some time to load up. <clears throat> but what I'll do is I'll pause the video and come back when it's fully loaded. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, this took about, I don't know, four minutes, I guess, to process it. But you can see the textures uh, that we exported from Make Human are now in Mixamo. And sometimes it's better to have your character in the T pose, but this is fine too when you want to rig it. We're going to click Next. I'm going to just start rigging her according to the instructions that Mixamo has given us. So we've got the chin there. And we have the wrist. And we have the elbows. And we have the knees. And we have the groin, which I guess is somewhere in this area. Can't be too sure about that, but we're just going to assume that it's there. Now, I usually leave all the everything the way it is and then go to next and if this takes too long I'm going to pause it and come back to the video which I will do right now I'll be right back and we're back and now we have our character rigged uh, don't worry about all of this stuff this is just um, the dress being a little bit too big for the character but that's not what we're focused on we're focused on the textures so now she's fully rigged and she's moving around. We're going to go to next and ignore that. Next again. And we have her here. Now let's uh, let's get the move her. Let's give her a move uh, from Mixamo that we can import into Blender, which is any of them. But let's give her something funny to do. Let's click on this one. This looks pretty uh, interesting. Let's click on that one. And there she goes. All right, she's doing her thing. Now let's uh, go to download. Leave all this with this as it is. And here there's an option to uh, export it or download it without skin or with skin. But obviously we, we want it with the skin. So leave this as is. I'll leave all the stuff as is too. So I'm going to click on download. And this also might take some time to, okay, maybe not as much time as I thought. So this downloading right now. So give it time. Her dance to her heart's content. She's tearing it up. Look at this. The moves. So you think you can dance. Uh, I think she can. All right. Um, there we go. Let's download it. Let's click on that folder. And there it is. Now let's close out all, all this stuff because we don't want Blender to crash at all. And I'm going to open up Blender. And I'm using Blender 2.82 for this. Like I said before, you can use this for any, use this technique 
For any version of Blender, it's all the same. Click off that. I'm going to delete my default cube. Go to File, <clears throat> excuse me, Import, FDX. I'm going to open up where that's been downloaded, my download folder. Left click, right click, copy, minimize that. Left click in there and press Control V, enter. And there it is. Left click on dancing, import FBX, and she should import her in a little bit. And there she is doing her thing. Press one. I keep on. I'm going to open up the keyboard shortcuts and hopefully it's not going to crash because that tends to happen sometimes with this add on. Play. Let's move this over so it can be seen. Now we do have the textures in here. Let me scroll over on my mouse wheel. Now it's kind of blocking that. Let me move this over here some more towards the right and down. Okay, hopefully that's positioned properly. And let's change our viewport. Now you can see that she's kind of shiny for, for some reason with the old version of Make Human. It imports uh textures in the blender with the metallic setting all the way up to the top which is weird but we'll take care of that later so i'm going to keep this on eevee because it's faster to have the render done in eevee i'm going to click on our viewer port shading to change it to eevee click on that give it a little bit of time to process and we're going to change the world settings because it's gray now i'm going to turn it to white you can see that the textures have been applied to our model here, all the textures in the dress and on her. Um, oh, sorry about that. It looks kind of strange. Okay. But as you can see, let me reposition her. In the eyes, we have an issue there because the eyebrows and eyelashes and eyes are just dark. And sometimes it happens with the hair, but but for right now the hair looks fine. It's been imported. Uh, but in EV, the transparency settings are kind of off somewhat when you import things that are transparent. So I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. But let's take care of the issues one at a time. Let's click on our eye, and we're going to go to the texture, uh, material properties panel here. Left click on that, and we're going to scroll down. Let's make this a little bit wider so we can see more options. Scroll down to blend mode and turn this from opaque to alpha blend. And that fixes her eyes. Now you can see that her eyes are brown. Let's click on her eyelashes and turn it also from in the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend. And not only that, but you, you can see that the eyebrows have just completely disappeared. If you want to fix that, let's divide our, our window up into two. So when you hover your mouse in the corner, it turns into a crosshair, left click and drag down. You want to click on that uh, icon there. From the drop down menu, click on Shade Editor. And we're going to scroll up on our mouse wheel. And on this part of the node setup, left click once, deleting our keyboard to get rid of that. I'm going, to hold down, I'm going to hold down our middle mouse button and pull down our mouse. Left click on that. And left click and drag. Then press shift down our keyboard. Go to shader. And click on transparent shader. That comes up. Shift A again. Shader. And we're going to go to mix shader. That comes up. Now we're going to left click once on material output. Now left click, hold down, left click and drag. Left click and drag on our mix shader, put that in between. Whenever you hover a node in between two nodes, between the noodle, it automatically connects in Blender. This is only for Blender 2.7, 2.8 and above. All, others, all older versions of Blender don't do this. And then we're going to pull down, left click and drag on our transparent shader. We're going to connect this BS, BSDF left click and drag to the top shader and now it automatically sends this shader down to the bottom and then we're going to click on our alpha and connect the alpha node to the factor 
And there we go. There are our eyelashes. And the same thing with the eyebrows. Left click on that. Scroll down in the materials panel. Scroll down to the blend mode. Turn from alpha to alpha blend. Uh, left click. Hold down your middle mouse button. Left click on the second material node that's at the bottom here. Just right down below. And press delete on that. Left click. Hold down your middle mouse button. Pull up with your mouse so you can see more of your nose set up and we're going to do the same process shift a shader transparent BSD, B, bsdf shift a again shader go to mix shader left click and drag on material node left click and drag on your mix shader and land it in between that noodle between the material uh, BSDF and your material outputs. Click on the uh, node right there and pull it up into the top shader. Click on our alpha and plug it into the factor. And now we have our eyebrows are done. Now the skin itself, excuse me, is shiny. So let's left click on that. Like I said before, for some reason it just bumps up the metallic. So we're going to pull this all the way down. So that her skin is not as shiny. And the same thing with the dress. Left click on the dress. Pull the metallic all the way down. And pull down the speckler too. That way it's not so shiny. And there you go. And that's how you can import textures from Make Human into Mixamo and into Blender with movements. And that's the, let's see her dance too, too. So we can make sure that... Uh, oh make sure that it actually imported the movement with our character so one pull her up and then we're going to change our viewport shading and then press play and there she goes all right and that's today's blender quick tip importing textures from make human to mix mo and to blender and I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. Once again, thank you guys for subscribing in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now. And those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.